All right, we'll move to item number three. This is the uh, FEMA flood map update. Commissioner Richards. Well, we're back where we were a year or so ago. Um, the FEMA flood maps still have not come out. We, we've got people in this county that are paying three and four thousand dollars for for flood insurance. When the FEMA, the new FEMA maps come out for approval by the Board of County Commissioners, the, most of those people are going to get some significant reductions in what they're paying for flood insurance. This is money that will circulate in Beaufort County when that happens. From the work that I do, and we do a lot of flood work, there's probably $5 million of reduction in flood insurance premiums for the citizens of this county once the commissioners approve those maps. And the reason they have to be improved by commissioners is the flood ordinance is, is enforced through the local building ordinance. So when we approve those maps, it goes to the building ordinance, then they start enforcing those. Then insurance rates start coming down. Whether they're going to have people to refile or not, I don't know. They shouldn't. You already got an elevation certificate. You just minus a number, and you know where, where you are. But there are significant savings for, for most of the people in this county. And I'm going to again ask these commissioners who claim they talk to our esteemed senators and elected officials in Raleigh, which was a waste of time, that we need to, we need to put our lobbyists behind this so that we can find out what's really going on with these flood maps because the excuses that FEMA is giving don't make sense. They claim that there's a, a some sort of a universal map and that the edges have to fit up. This is pure bunk because if you look at it, you'd have to map the whole world, the whole earth in order to get these things approved. This stuff does not make sense. And we need to get behind it because this is a significant savings to the people of this county that we have a lot of say in. So I'm, I'll make a motion just to make it work. I move that we direct our lobbyists to get behind this FEMA flood stuff and find out where the bottleneck is and put a stop to it. I'll second that, but I, I was to make a comment. Go ahead. Well, I was going to second it too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm going to sack it and I'm going to, I'm going to vote for it, but this is how the federal government works. County government works slow enough like it is, but when you get on a federal level, they're going to, they're going to take as long as they want to. They don't care whether it hurts people in Buffalo County or not. Simple as that. So. Oh, we can get our lobbyist that he may be able to get something done. I know that he'll he'll do it if if he deems necessary. But we ain't gonna get nothing done until the Fred, feds release those those maps. Brian, you look like you were getting ready to make a statement. Oh, uh, what I would say to you is your contract with your lobbyist only covers North Carolina issues. If you want him to work on federal issues, it's gonna cost you money. You might as well set some money aside for it. I would also say to you it would be a waste of your time and your money. I had a conversation with the folks at, at uh, DPS, uh, Department of Public Safety, earlier this week. Uh, they are still on track to have the, the letter of request to FEMA submitted in August. Uh, once that occurs and FEMA approves that, then there's a six-month mandatory wait period before um, those maps are implemented. That gives the local jurisdictions time to adopt the map, not approve the map, adopt the map. Um, and once you adopt the map, then you change your flood ordinance to match that. If you don't do that, then they kick you out of the flood program. Um, so we're still on track, as was the original timeline, to be the first quarter of next year for those for that to be final. Brian, um, how can this not be a state level? Process. It's a FEMA. It's a FEMA. It's a federal program. Well, I understand that, but it's got to go through the state. It, it comes from the state up to FEMA. The, the state does most of the work on it, and they submit it to FEMA, and then FEMA looks at it. And if there were any, if there were any comments or complaints that were made during the hearing period that was that was put out there, then they looked at those and made adjustments. And they made some adjustments. I mean, there were some folks who who submitted some things, some some adjustments which were made in some of those maps. Um, it is now at the point where all that's been cleared. And they're waiting to submit that. 
Um, again, it's my understanding that, that sometime in August that map, that, that letter, that request for letter of final determination, letter of final determination gets submitted, and then they would say it's good to go, and you go into a mandatory six-month holding period, which allows everybody to get done locally what needs to get done. It allows you to adopt the map. It allows entities that may not have a flood ordinance or whatever they need to do to get their ordinance in compliance with the new maps that gives you the opportunity to, to get all that done. Once that's done, after that six-month period, period ends, the new maps go, to, go into effect. And like I say, if you don't do that, then they kick you out of the flood program. You, you can't get flood insurance. So you, you pretty much got to do it. All right, well, this is August, then. We're going to get the letter this month. They're submitting the request this month. And, and what they say is once that happens, you go into a mandatory six-month hold period to get all this stuff done locally. And then once that six – so if they, if they said um, tomorrow you got the letter back, then you would wait six months, and then at the end of that six months, then it becomes effective, and all the rates can change then. Well, but, I, you know, it's like a journey of a, of a thousand miles. It begins with one step. We don't get this first step going. The sooner we get this first step going, the sooner we're down the road. I think that – I just, you know, the state, they've sung this song to me before, and it doesn't make sense. The maps were supposed to give you an idea of what's going on here with the foot dragon. It was 2013 that the maps were supposed to have been ready and approved. 2013, they could do the studies. Give them a year to do the study. The maps have been online. You can go online right now and see the maps. They've been up there for two years, at least two years. And still you've got the foot dragon from the feds on this. If we don't get with our congressmen and our federally elected officials on this and put some pressure on them, then this thing's going to sit here just like we're doing now. Promises, promises, promises. And that's all we're getting. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Brock, can I? Yes. Brian, is there anything we can do to speed this up? Not, not that I'm aware of. We, we've had the conversation when we went to when we when we last had the conversation. We were at the NACO conference, legislative conference in D.C. We had conversations with our with our congressional uh, delegation. Um, they pretty much sent us back the exact same information and said once that gets approved. Um, my understanding is we're on schedule with what the original schedule was. So I mean I can't speak any more to that except what I've been told by the state and the folks from the so congressional. congressional proposal now or a recommendation it's like spinning on wheels I, I mean I'm just what I'm saying to you is it, it's my recommendation to you that um, that if you were to you could certainly throw money at it you're gonna have to pay mr. McLeese extra money to do that because it's not in your contract and he's not going to be able to get anything done because there's still a six-month mandatory hold period and my understanding is that they're submitting those letters this month which was what they told us at the beginning of the process um, I mean, you, you, you certainly have the ability to do that. And well, if we want to, what do I hear you saying? We, we want to waste money. Let's give it to him. What if he just uh, worked with the uh, with our, the legislators? They, can't well, do they don't have any control. Uh, they they have, it's a federal control. Yeah, that's, uh, they, they, I'm just trying to figure well, out. Well, 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 engineers, you're not going to do something. Well, but look, you can always go to your elected, your senators and your congressmen and get them to extract some kind of a letter from whoever is running FEMA in Washington, D.C. You know, that may tell you more than you know now. I don't doubt what you're saying, Brian, because that's essentially the way the process works. But by the same token, if you don't put some pressure on these people, they're going to do what all government employees do, sleep as long as they can, or they have to do something. Commissioner Evans. Uh, as a matter of fact, two or three of us, including Mr. Richardson and myself, we met with Walter Jones. And we begged, and we begged. We went over everything we've talked about. We need you to get those maps approved. I haven't heard a word. Now, just the way the government works, the, the last day Congress approved the instead in the flooding insurance. It could have been a pure mess, but they waited to the last day, so if we think we're going to push anybody around, it's just not going to happen. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. I mean, we're going to go out and send a surveyor out to re do re-elevations and do all that kind of stuff. But until we get those maps, here was it. What I'm asking for is aimed at getting the maps. I think if you can get your congressmen and your senators 
all write letters to the to the administrator uh, over in Homeland Security, which is where FEMA is, saying what is going on. We need an answer. At least you got an answer from the top. That's going to filter out somewhere, and we'll know a lot better where we are. Because we've been taking people's word now for three years, and it, you know, all, and we still don't have the FEMA flood maps approved. Although they've been, the maps have been done. The engineering company, company Dewberry and Davis, I believe it is, that does those things. They're online, you know. So it's got to be bureaucracy that's holding it up. Did Did you get a response from Walter Jones? No, I didn't. Okay. What I'm What I'm advocating, Jerry, is that we actually do something by asking our federal <laughs> officials to go to FEMA and get a letter from them about what the status of this project is. We What's wrong with that? that? We did ask him that. Well, why don't you rescind that, that motion and make another motion that we do that? Well, that's well, I can. Whatever the board is willing to approve is fine with me. That we well, that we make an inquiry of our federal uh, representative, elected representatives, in Washington D.C. That we get a letter from FEMA, give uh, there, not not North Carolina, but a letter from on a federal level. Uh, uh, describing what uh, the status of the approval of the maps is and where we are. Now that letter has to be sent down the line. People have to know that people are asking questions when this happens. Sitting here and doing nothing is not going to get you anything because so far it hasn't gotten you anything. Well, it's just like Jerry said, and I agree with you, uh, uh, we need to get it done, but it's like Jerry said, you, myself, and Jerry went to Congressman Jones' office. The other commissioners went to the senator's office. Yeah, they were told he was. He told us at that time that they would get together and write a letter to FEMA to, and seek to push this along. Did they? Did you get a copy of a letter? Well, that I, they, I don't know what I didn't. You're get right. You're exactly right. <laughs> Walter directed his chief of staff to yeah. do this. Well, it hasn't been done, guys. What do you do? Do you lay down and die? No, or do you go back to him and say, look, Walter, you didn't do what you said you were going to do. What's, what is the status of this? That's all I'm asking for. You guys are sitting around here making excuses to do nothing, which is very typical. We're not, okay, I, we're not making excuses, either, but we are not calling Well, do the something senators. then. Vote for my motion. I ain't voting for nothing you can do. See? <laughs> See, this is what your problem is in Beaufort County, is this kind of contention from people who are not willing to represent you, but they tell you that they're on your side, and you just vote for us. We're the greatest people in the world, but they won't do anything to help you save your money. I'll make a motion that we send a letter to Senator Ellis and Senator Byrd. And Congressman Jones. No, you need to put the congressional. Uh, and Congressman Jones. Why is Senate too? Will you amend that? Well, not John. Well, wow. would you amend that, Mr. Buzio? Mm -hmm. Would you also amend? Well, that since we already have a motion that's been approved in second, why don't we back up? Mr. Chairman, would you amend it? Uh, rescind his motion. Okay, rescind it. Just amend it. Would you amend? Would you agree to amend? I'm willing to do whatever helps the people of Buffalo County. Oh. I'll amend my motion to fit Commissioner Buzio's motion. Okay. And add the congressman. Add the congressman. And who's the congressman south of us? We need to get I him, too, all the way down all to Wilmington. The senators and all the congressmen in the state. Yeah, all the con Okay, that's fine. That's what we want. Okay. Second. Who, who seconded the original motion? Did you no, second uh, the original motion? Uh, I second it. I made the motion. <laughs> no, I second <laughs> no, 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 the we, first motion. He's agreed to put yours in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, vote We're consolidating. The, the, the manager will know which which uh, legislator to send it to. All right, all right. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, we actually did send a letter. When we came back, we sent a letter, and we got an email response. I forwarded that email response to all of y'all. Um, so there's been response from them. If you send them a letter now, what they'll say, what FEMA will say is we haven't received the request yet from the state because the state hasn't yet filed the request for the letter of determination. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> it is going in this month is what the folks at the, at the state say. Well, what's their Which problem? Is, Why are they dragging their feet? Because they've got a hundred counties All I right, guess to do. Let's go back. We've made progress in this. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to vote on the motion and then I have another motion. That's what he sent to Okay. Um, would, would it not be nice if we put in the letter that we just talked about that it's in process? Will you please follow up on it? 
Well, I wouldn't think it's in process. I'd ask what the status is from the federal end of it. Because if the request hasn't been made, they're going to write you a letter back and say, we haven't heard anything from the state of North Carolina. Gee, we're making progress now. Okay. You don't need to give them the answer to the question. Uh, Katie, do you think you can? Uh, no. You can't. No, she can't. <laughs> I move that I move that we make a strong inquiry, Commissioner Buzzio. You, you see if you go along with this. We make a strong buzz, uh, a strong request to our uh, federal senators and all of the state representatives that they make a uh, request from FEMA, federal FEMA, as to the status of the flood insurance rate maps in uh, Eastern North Carolina. Before I second that, I just want to ask Brian a question. Should you have a follow-up discussion with the state before that letter? That's the motion. That's I, coming after this. I That's have had a follow-up conversation. I've got another. But, I got another. I got a better motion than that. It, 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 I'm not sure whether I got an email from Commissioner Richardson or whether I got an email from you or Commissioner Brian from me last week. Yeah. And I sent that email to the yeah. state, and they followed up and said, "We still haven't sent it. It's going this month." And then there's the mandatory six-month period. Um, well, I'm ready to vote. All right, all those in favor. have that. You want to? Yeah, you need to second. I second that. All right. As long as, but I'm going to rescind my second if I don't like the second. Oh well, you just no, you can't do that. You can't run, you cannot unring the bell. Once this thing's you can break, make another motion. You're going to like you're going to okay. like my next question. motion after this one. I can tell you that well, now. Then ask the uh, manager a question. Yes. Regardless to what we do, that six-month six period got to be in the state. It got to stay, right? Yes, that's yeah. that's. So regardless, uh, if we send Mr. That's Richardson the wrong to talk to Burr, Tillis, yeah. Jones, or Holder, nothing gonna change within six months. Well, yes. It, once the letter gets submitted by the state to the feds, then there's a six-month period wait, in which you have to wait to that's get your mandatory. Yeah, yes, that's mandatory. If you never It'll start, you're never gonna get there. All right. All those in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. My next motion is since we've determined that the bottleneck is in the state of North Carolina, that we ask our lobbyists whom we are paying to get on this and get us a good answer uh, as to the status of the situation in Raleigh and what the bottleneck is in Raleigh, because there's a bottleneck in Raleigh based on what we think now. What we've yes. been told is... It, it's being submitted. I mean, I have a, I have a follow-up listed on my calendar. Call him at the end of this month. Well, let's put McLeese um, on this. We're paying him. But don't, that may yeah, disrupt yeah. everything. No, it won't. No, no. Oh, it's the bass night rule. I, I'm well, happy to call well, some the lobbyist. lobbyist we're going to give you what you want okay. to get you out of our office. All right, you've heard the motion. Is there a second to the motion? <laughs> second. Second. All right, any discussion? Let's vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Those opposed. I'm against using the lobbyists. All right. <laughs> it's going to well. First of all, we pay him almost fifty thousand a year, and he doesn't do anything for us. So maybe. Well, he gets ready to do something now. He wants to do something. He's got to do. do. You <laughs> <laughs> can't disrupt the conversation Brian's had with the state. No, 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 no. Okay, we're down to item number four, 